Welcome back, guys. It is Friday, uh, September 23rd, about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're going to do a quick update on the progress on the gasifier. As you can see, I've got my PLC running. I've got most of my wiring done. I have my VFD wired so that I can change the speed of the blower on the laptop. A little crude right now. I have to work on some programming things, but just to give you an idea what this does. So we're running the big blower at 25 hertz right now. So I have the cap off over there. I also have the lid open up there. Take a walk over. Check out the input side of the pyrocoil. So the exhaust is going to travel in. You can see there's a gasket hanging there. Just for the sake of the record, this is the part number for that gasket from Advanced Auto. So the input of the pyrocoil is here. Take a walk up the steps here and So it goes down into this vessel that's inside the hopper and it travels up and down until it travels out the other side, down and out the bottom to another flange. So I'll try to get a shot looking down inside here. So there's a new air intake pipe on here. It's more streamlined than the old one. And the pyrocoil's done. Making a little bit of progress on the programming. Uh, I have some work to do on that. That's going to be another big, big thing coming up. But I'll shut this down for now. So we're making some progress. We have some work to do trying to get a, a program written to shake the ash grate shaker. Now um, the switch is wired in in the back here through the PLC so when I flip this switch you'll see a contactor inside here pull in So it's all done. I'll do it one more time so you can watch the card light up as I do this. So there's an input that lights up when I flip the switch and it fires an output to pull that coil in and that's what's turning that motor on. So moving on, I uh, took the gas tank off the new donor engine and uh, started doing some air intake piping. So you'll see here's where the hose will get hooked in and it'll travel to this T, split off to both sides and travel into dual carburetors on this 1997 Kawasaki Ninja 500cc engine. Now on the air intake side, let's see if I can point here, there's a T coming off and there were a few places where this engine had hoses hooked up to the air intake box. This is the original air intake box and you can see the two holes right here and right here were for the carburetors and there's a few other hoses that were actually hooked to the post filtered side of the box. So I tap those hoses in so they're on the post filter side of this filter with a valve right here to control the air intake. So making some progress. I got the air intake done now. Um, I'll try to back up and give you a little better shot of this thing. So I'm hoping to run a few alternators off the back of this. I'd like to use the 12 volt DC power generation so that I can uh, run some grid tie inverters. So. 
just another shot of this side. Let's see if I can pop this seat off of here. So it's definitely a work in progress. You know, I've been down and out for the last three or four months and uh, finally getting back into building stuff again. So I'm grateful for that. So if you guys have any comments, suggestions, questions, uh, maybe you noticed something I didn't, um, feel free to ask. And I'll get back with you guys when I get some more work done. Okay, guys, there was a couple things I forgot to talk about here. I'll try to quick throw them in at the end of this video. Um, I didn't mention that the, the exhaust that's on this is a dual exhaust and will be combined into one single manifold. will travel up and then over toward the engine and obviously the engine will be a lot closer to the gasifier than it is right now but when it's coming over it's going to be doing two things number one my air intake pipe is going to be running inside of that exhaust pipe so the air intake going into the hearth will hopefully reach the temperature of the exhaust gas from the engine and then the exhaust gas from the engine is what's actually going to be going in through this pyrocoil so maybe I didn't mention but the purpose of the pyrocoil is to preheat and pre-pyrolysize the fuel that sits in the hearth and in the uh, hopper. And then the pyrocoil is actually sealed completely from the gas that's inside the gasifier. So the exhaust gas will travel back and forth through the pyrocoil, come out the other side, and then go to atmosphere. So the purpose of this is to regain all of the heat that's generated from the engine and put it into the air intake and also the fuel that's on its way in. And one more thing that I missed is this is kind of my junk blower here. It's going to be a little difficult to do this with one hand. But I got this junk box and there's some circuitry from a vacuum cleaner that I had and there is a variable speed adjustment in that circuitry. So there's an on off switch here. So you can see this guy's running. So that's just for my junk blower. I wanted to be able to make it a variable speed. And there you have it. So I'm going to be rerouting some of these pipes so that uh, if it does pull any tar through before the filters, I'm not blowing it on my computer like I did the last time. So if you like where this project is headed and you want to see more on the subject, please subscribe, rate, comment, throw your suggestions out there. And I'll see you guys on the next step. Thanks for watching.